Are you someone who's struggling with their pitching between 30 and 90 yards? Are you fatting, thinning, duffing, and just don't have a clue at all? In today's video, I've got you covered. I talk about my three-stage process of how you can start pitching with accuracy and control. With this shot here at Pernod Saltos, you need accuracy, you need control. And with my easy to follow method, you can also. So when we're seeing someone pitch and someone will struggle with their pitching, I see a lot of the time people really start to drive this golf club tense up, start to really guide the golf club into impact, and it just doesn't work. So number one on my list is match your setup and the length of your swing to the length of the shot. If you imagine here, if I had a driver and I wanted to hit 300 yards, I wouldn't stand very narrow with a short swing. So why do we sometimes stand to a pitch shot with a wide stance, take a very long swing, de-accelerate into the golf ball, and hope it goes the yardage. It just doesn't work. It's hard to do, it's hard to control. And yes, we can be consistent with it, but it's hard to be consistent. So we're gonna talk firstly, point number one, matching the setup and the speed and the length of the swing. It's absolutely key. So setup, I like to feel like I've got a narrower stance and I'm gonna keep my feet knees, hips and shoulders parallel to my ball target line to begin with and that's the flag here. Pretty intimidating shot here. And once I've got that here, I'm going to maintain my shoulders but I'm going to pull my left foot back and I'm going to spray it open. So I'm going to pull it back and spray the left toe open. So this position here, I've got the ball just slightly back of middle and now I've got my weight frame my left side. I want to feel the length and the pace of the swing matches the length of the shot. Really nice and simple, so narrower setup because we're looking for finesse and control. Gripping down on the golf club, finesse back, finesse through. First point. Number two. I find very often when people start pitching and they start to try and make a swing go the distance they want to see it go, it becomes very much an arms driven movement. The club gets picked up, the arms do all the driving of the swing. The body isn't synced up. Or on the other hand, I really see that the arms and get some lag and the arms work independent in that motion. I want you to feel now in this swing here, once we maintain the setup and we keep number one in our mind, we've got a swing where we've got the arms and the body always all synced up. So if I stood to this shot now, I'm gonna hit a shot here and show you some data on the flight scope. I want you to imagine you're creating a swing where you're painting a U from hip height to hip height with the club head. And you do this by using the arms and the body rather than picking the golf club up and making a very arms predominant swing. So we're gonna really feel that the main driver is the arms and the body working together, painting the U from hip height to hip height. So watch this now, and I'm gonna show you the U. We've got the setup, we've got the length of swing, we've shortened the shaft by gripping down. Get the arms and the body all matched up. So if we dive into the data here, you can see that on the screen now, we've got a U shape. What I want you to feel is that we're creating this U shape when we're getting the arms and body to sync up. I really like doing this and getting people to imagine creating that U because it stops people picking that club up, making a very sharp and shallow U sharp and steep you in this motion. I really like to see people with a good setup, good speed in the swing, match arms and body, create a nice wide U. And that's a really good way of getting the arms and the body synced up using that visual down on the screen there. The final part of this video is a nice feeling that I want you to complete the swing. So in order to complete the swing, I like to feel that players, when they make a swing back and through, they get their belt buckle pointing towards the target. Very often going back to the second point, 
and when I first said this arms were the driving force of this swing, by allowing the belt buckle to work through to target, this really gets the arms and the body synced up. So my final point would be belt buckle to target to finish the swing. So it's all about finesse this shot, accuracy and control. And if we summarize the points that we spoke about, firstly, set up and the swing length and the swing pace. Make sure it matches the length of the shot that you're trying to hit. We then secondly wanted to talk about creating the U, the pitching U. Can we feel that we create a nice wide U back and forth, getting the arms and the body synced up? The final point is I want you to feel that you swing back, hold and pose, belt buckle to target in a nice relaxed position. No flipping, no scooping, no driving, in a nice relaxed position. And don't be scared to be relaxed and add finesse. That is the keys to playing good golf. Being relaxed, showing finesse, allowing your skills to take control. Thank you for watching today's video on Alex Ali Golf. I really hope you enjoyed it, so please do consider subscribing. We're down here at the stunning Paneros Altos Golf Course. Actually, on the seventh hole here, I've just snuck to the side because I thought it was a really nice pitch shot to show you guys. Thank you very much. See you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.